Hello, everybody. My name is Ms. Sharp, and in today's edition of our Enrichment Library, we are going to learn and review all the instrument families and figure out how to log into your Quaver account and play some fun games. So before we get into Quaver, let's talk about the instrument families. Now, if you guys pull out uh, some things from your Morgan Musician Kit, we're going to talk about the percussion family together. Now, go ahead and get out your um, little plate here. So it's black and it's small. So now this is a percussion instrument because we can hit it to make sound. And remember, all percussion instruments make sound by hitting, scraping, or shaking. So let's do this rhythm together. Ta, ta, sh, ta, with me too, ready, and ta, ta, sh, ta. Very good. Now we have pool noodle scrapers. Now these are percussion instruments because we scrape them. Now I want y'all to do this rhythm with me. Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. Scrape with me, ready, and ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. Nice job. And last but not least, let's get our egg shakers. So this is a percussion instrument because we shake it to make the sound. Now let's just do this rhythm together. Four, two, three, four. So just shake and bring your arm down with me. One, two, ready, and hold, two, three, four. Great shaking. Now another instrument family is the brass family. So I don't have a brass family instrument on me, but um, brass instruments are part of a family because one, they are mainly made out of the metal brass, which is yellow, which is pretty cool. And then two, they all have a mouthpiece where you buzz your air through it to make the sound. Another instrument family is the string family. So the ukulele is a part of the string family because it has strings. And people can either pluck, bow, or strum to make sound. And last but certainly not least, we have the woodwind family. So a clarinet is a part of the woodwind family. It's like all other um, clarinets and other woodwind instruments, it has something to do with wood. In this case, it has a reed and is made of wood. And two, it has a lot of keys where you press down to play notes. Now, I wanted to help you guys figure out how to get into your Quaver accounts and play some fun, interactive instrument family games. So first, I'm going to walk you through it every step of the way. So pull up your Chromebook, laptop, whatever you have, and type in Quaver Music, if I can spell. There you go. And you want to go to quavermusic.com. So we're going to click on this link, and it should take you to this wonderful page. Now that we're at this page, I want you guys to go to the top right of your screen and press the green login button. We are at a login page. So at this login page, what I want you guys to do is go to the bottom and press the blue button that says sign in with Google. So let's go ahead and click that. And that should take you to a page that looks like this. So um, it says to sign in with Google, you want to choose an account to continue on to quavermusic.com. Now, everybody should have a Fayette County email. So mine is at the bottom. So yours will look like your first name, a dot, your last name, at fayette.kyschools.us. So click on that email and it'll take you to your Quaver Music page. So this will be your student dashboard. So this is where you can choose all sorts of different things to do. And you can customize your avatar by pressing my avatar or actually clicking on your avatar. You can change your features, clothes, or even the instrument that you're holding. I'm holding my ukulele, which is cool. So now I want to take you guys to some fun things. So click on student interactives. And since we've learned about the instrument families, click on instruments and knowledge. All right. so we're going to look at some different instruments. Now you can see that there are basic and advanced slides that you can click through. 
So let's go ahead and we're going to look at orchestral strings. Now these are all a part of the string family. So, and you can press reveal to look at all the different parts and you can press the play button to listen to it. So there's a violin, viola, cello, and double bass. And there are also other instrument families, obviously. So you can look at orchestral woodwinds. So we have the piccolo, itty bitty, plays super high notes. The flute is a bigger version of a piccolo. The oboe plays some high notes and has a double reed. The clarinet is similar to an oboe, plays some lower stuff and has a mouthpiece to read. A bassoon is a big oboe and a bass clarinet is a big clarinet. And these are all part of the woodwind family. And also all saxophones are a part of the woodwind family too. We have the soprano and the alto and the tenor and the baritone or the berry sax. And it's cool because when you press the play button, you can either listen to classical saxophone music or click the button and listen to jazz, which is fun. And then we also have our brass instruments. And again, brass are typically made of a yellow metal called brass and they have a mouthpiece that you buzz into. So we have our trumpet trombone, tuba, and French horn. All right, so now that we've done a quick review of all of our instruments that we've learned about, I want you guys to click on the instrument crane game. Now this game is really fun because it helps you think and listen about um, what instruments go and belong into which family. Now the symbols are something that you hit together. So since you hit to make the sound, it's part of the percussion family. Now the violin, so it has a bow and it has four strings. And because it has strings, what family would it be a part of? The string family, absolutely. So then you press on string and it goes in. All right, so now we have the double bass. And I want to show you guys what happens when you get an answer wrong. So because a double bass has strings, it's a part of the string family. But let's say we got it wrong and put it in the woodwinds. Oh, it'll bounce out. And now we have the trumpet. So the trumpet has a mouthpiece and it's made out of some yellow brass. So it's part of our brass family. So you click on brass and we got that right. Now we have the berry saxophone. So I know it's big and yellow, but it's not a brass instrument. Remember, I said that all saxophones are a part of the woodwind family. So let's click on woodwind. And that's right. And while you play this game, you could put it in game mode where you can time yourself. You could also turn off the pictures and just listen to the sound. Or you could even turn off the names and just look at the instrument or just listen to the sound. So it's totally up to you how you want to play. Now another game that we have is Guitar Soloist. Now Guitar Soloist is cool because it helps you um, learn about the different strings and frets on a guitar. So if we look towards the left of our screen, we see we have one, two, three, four, five, six strings on it, which is really neat. And you can play any of these tracks and click any of the colorful buttons to um, play the sound and all of the buttons match and fit in with the music. But there are also some other things you can change, like how it sounds by pressing the different tone buttons. 
And you can also experiment with what it looks like with our green buttons and also some other cool features by changing certain sounds with these blue buttons. And feel free to play with that as much as you would like. Alrighty, everyone. Well, thank you so very much for joining me on today's Enrichment Library video. And I hope you learned a lot about our instrument families this week and that you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye, everyone.